Hey everyone, so I uh, just uh, made a quick stop to the house today. Uh, the uh, builders are making a bunch of uh, good progress now. So uh, they uh, have installed these beautiful windows, double pane, large windows, a new door. And right now they're uh, just doing some water work and whatnot inside um, in preparation to do the, uh, the floor possibly over this weekend or next week. I'm gonna go walk around through the house right now and just kind of check on the progress throughout the house. But uh, yeah, in the past week or so here with our uh, IKEA renovation in the, in the countryside in, in Japan, starting with removing all the walls and everything that exists walls and stuff that we didn't want to open it up for the concrete slab here in front of us is the insulation for for the floor under the floor here are those two beams that they installed last week those two large beams in order to accommodate the the fireplace here in the corner. Very impressive watching them install these things. Uh, and then all this right here was installed without any nails. The wood pegs, they go in there, they those notches they go in in the original framing of the of the house. In the past week, they just uh, they also installed this door here that's going to go out towards the um, the outside kitchen. Installed a new window here for the kitchen. Excuse all the noise. <laughs> Obviously, there's the construction. So yeah, much nicer, bigger window to look outside. Here, here they installed a new part of a new wall, but. On this right here is going to be the sliding doors uh, for the pantry. The pantry is pretty much going to extend is it from this pillar really all the way up to the wall and then with the sliding door in there. And then it's going to be a quite large pantry but nice and deep to be able to put all of our, all of our excess stuff. Yeah, really looking forward to seeing these uh, those beams exposed. Yeah, true craftsmanship. Watching these guys, you know, like he's over there, you know, sawing away little by little, little by little, just making it fit. Uh, it's like building a big piece of furniture, quite frankly. Beautiful big windows here. Right now I'm standing pretty much where the dining room uh, is at. And really liking the look of these big windows, simple. You don't have the, those uh, middle uh, bars that the older style windows have. Extending all the way back to the tatami room as well. Looks like he's uh, right there above us is where the closet used to be. That closet was removed. It looks like he's putting the framing so that he can continue, continue working on the floor. Oh yeah, nice. Really liking this window. Yeah, if you remember from previous videos, uh, this was a the half the size window. And then uh, me personally, I would have to duck to be able to look outside. Now I really like that so we can look outside. This wall right here, obviously, it needs a good pressure washing. 
but um, I think we're going to remove maybe the top three layers of this wall. I am a little concerned about flooding if it rains too much coming from that hill. So at this time, I'm not going to remove uh, the bottom two. But if anyone has some suggestions or recommendations or convince me to not to do that, let me know. But that's what I'm thinking right now. But right here in front of us is where the uh, the extended laundry room will be. So right now I'm pretty much standing where the stove sink would be. Then the view that we will have from here. So right now I'm sitting right smack in the back corner. And overall, I guess compared to like American standard now, the mech mansions, the big 3,000 square feet houses is not, not as big, uh, but it's uh, just perfect for two of us and company and family that may come and visit. But um, yeah, uh, so far nice and spacious. I'm still kind of liking the way it's gonna turn out. Okay, so this is a sample of the um, cedar flooring that would be installed, nice and thick. You can see the little, um, how it's treated, the, the little grooves right there. And because the cedar is actually kind of uh, soft wood, so yes, it will, it will scratch easier, um, but not, to concern one that just adds character and two you know we live in japan so for the most of most of not most of the time all the time you would have your shoes off so i'm um, not that worried about that Oh yeah, the kayak san was just showing me a minute ago that they also installed this big um, pillar beam right there as well. Yeah, so it looks like he is working on the flooring right now on this side on the, I'm sorry, my apologies. This is the craft room upstairs. And it'll also be insulated. Right there in the back corner is where the uh, half bath will be. Installed new windows is there, there as well. Lots of beautiful light there's going to be up in here. These new windows here as well. Wow, yeah. Again, really, really happy so far with everything that's going on here.
That's why I'm gonna go ahead and walk around the house real quick. Yeah, all my weeds are starting to grow here. It's very fertile land, so <laughs> get a little bit of water and warmth, and there you go. It starts growing. The bedroom window. Yeah, well, it looks like I need to get out here with my weed eater and start cutting some more weeds. The peach tree right here. Hopefully it gives us some good peaches. All right, folks, for, thanks for following us along with our Akiya Vacant House renovation here in uh, Miwa, Japan. And, uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, share, hit the bell so you can be notified, all that good stuff that you hear all the YouTubers say. Uh, I don't consider myself a YouTuber yet, but <laughs> trying our best. But uh, yeah, that way you can follow along and hopefully learn from our experience of uh, purchasing the house, renovating the house here in Japan. Uh, learn from our mistakes, learn from our successes. If you have any questions, just let us know and uh, I will try to reply as promptly as I can. All right, thanks a lot. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye.